They think that they want it, but they don't really want it. I strike with no warning, no, they don't see it coming. I handle my business, stay the fuck up the way. Yeah, all on my lane, get the fuck out my space. Did you know that becoming a rapper is the number one cause of death amongst young black men? Have you ever wondered why the incarceration and murder of rappers is so accepted and somewhat celebrated amongst today's society? Today we're going to explore an example of this phenomenon. Welcome to The Rap Trap, hosted by Ayo Conseco. Welcome back to the Rap Trap. Um, I'm A.O. Conseco, fearless leader of A.O. Nation and the Men Too Movement. Um, and this is in hindsight. Um, I, let's get straight down to it. Why Finn Lucci um, has a hit on him? Nigga done put a hit on Why Finn Lucci. And niggas is really trying to collect that money. Um, but before I get, and that's that's what you just saw in that video. Um, she ain't got nothing to do with this nigga Lil Zay and shit like that. It's about why I'm being Lucha. Once you get to the point that you have, you sign niggas up under you and shit like that. Like, why I'm being Lucha come from TIG, think it's a game and shit like that. He built, think it's a game. Of course he didn't build it, but without why I'm being Lucha, T.I.G. don't go nowhere without T.I.G. Why Ben Lucian don't go nowhere, but and they helped each other because um, if why with why Ben Lucian didn't blow like he did, niggas wouldn't be trying to sign a T.I.G. to where they have this many text right off. That's all artists are. Um, usually, as a black label, all you get is one, two, really two at the most. If you do more than two acts as a black label, you you know what I'm saying? It's what I'm trying superstar shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, so they didn't ran their course already. Same thing with a fucking, um, a black producer. You know what I'm saying? It, it's, we don't have Scott Storches and, um, uh, Just Blaze and, and all that shit. Like, we don't have them. Uh, we got DJ Mustard and, and well, that's, that's more, uh, uh, Shot of Red on the track type shit. So they told me it lasted a long time also. But, I say that to say, This is the chamber of the rap trap that once you get here, this point right here where niggas, like, you you offend me by being successful and still being here. Niggas talk all that shit about, ah, oh, man, nigga, nigga, goddamn, soon nigga get some money, man, nigga try to run the cap on a whole ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? And that's why niggas brag about me. I'm still here in Baton Rouge, nigga. I ain't leaving, nigga. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm still here in Zone 6, nigga. I ain't leaving, nigga. Zone 6 King, nigga. You still kept me right here in the sit go, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Just like that. I ain't one of these bitch ass niggas gonna run away soon. I get some money, nigga. I get the money. I'm gonna spread that shit around, nigga. Fuck these niggas talking about. And niggas be on all that good wolf wolf shit while they broke. Or when they get them a little thousand dollars, it, it's all good. But when you get to this, I'm um, future, or if you, you'll never get to that point with that type of mindset, you'll never get to future level to Drake level. But as soon as you get to uh, Archie Keep level, but nigga, as soon as you get a meal, nigga, you gonna dip for this same reason because niggas around. This is what the fuck the rap trap is. You lose either way. It's a trap. You here now. What the fuck you gonna do? I don't want you in. I don't want you around me no more. Nigga, you got too much fucking money, nigga. It's not a question no more if you can fuck my bitch. Nigga, it's when do you want to fuck my hoe? And that fucks up my motherfucking ego. I can't... Nigga, it's nothing. I remember when uh, we were young and shit like that. We used to go to parties and shit. Like, we used to really come in that bitch and, like, I would come with an idea like, hey, we're going to wear this to the next party. And we were all... It was like six of us. It was five of us for real, but be like six of us with my little cousin and shit like that. And we'll go in that bitch with all of us have a, 
white t-shirt with some type of graffiti on it and shit like that. And I get the best graffiti man. I go across the water to get a graffiti man and just do some live ass shit. When we get there, it don't matter what the fuck. You got the new J's, you got the polo and shit like that. We killing everything. So the next move is, and that's why we had to go so deep. Niggas going like, as the bitches look, niggas look. And niggas' ego was hurt. Like, the hoes ain't looking at us. Let go punk them niggas' eyes and shit like that. And we had to prove that, nah, it ain't none of that shit, dog. It ain't none of that. You know what I'm saying? Just a nigga dress it on. You know what I'm saying? But that's the type of vibe you get. Now, imagine if niggas had money like that. And that's what niggas, that's exactly what's going on. Like, dog, you around the hood with the broke niggas walking around this bitch like royalty. And I don't like that shit, dog. So, it's the same way as you can tell a joke just as long as both of us is broke. But if you tell that same joke while I'm broke and you have money, it's a fucking problem. And that's exact. it's going to happen. It's going to, there's no way to avoid it. It's going to happen. You are going to offend someone. The same shit that you, like you a real street nigga, so you do a real street nigga do. I'm going to park sideways. When I get to the gas station, I'm going to leave the car running, blast the music, nigga, run down on any bitch that just out this hoe. I'm, I'm acting like I'm supposed to act like a real street nigga. That's what I am. And that's what y'all want me to be is a real street nigga. But now when I'm acting like a real street nigga, oh, now I'm disrespectful. That nigga think he the... Dog, when I was broke and I had to walk to the gas station, this is how I was coming. Talking loud, you know what I'm saying? Fucking with everybody, joking with everybody and shit like that. But niggas don't take it like that. So, and, and it go even deeper like this. To a point where, if a nigga did disrespect somebody, we can go ahead and just, you know what I'm saying, fight it out. Now, something that we could have thought about or some shit like that. I'm talking about a stranger. Something that we could have thought about, now nigga want to up. Because if something happened between me and you now... Everybody gonna know about it because you got that star status. And I'm not gonna be known as the nigga that wife and Lucha pumped out. Or the nigga that wife and Lucha beat up. So you operating and functioning as a regular street nigga because that's what people told you they wanted. And everybody say they want a motherfucker to keep it real. But now the niggas who have been selling dope, that shout out to my OG and shit. Um, niggas who've been selling dope and who have been had money, been had money, who probably seen you when you was up this bitch broke at the gas station selling CDs and shit like that, dirty, dusty. Now they seeing you with money and just like, dog, nobody's going to get no fucking money and be that same motherfucking, no, nah, you're going to get a little, you know what I'm saying? You look a little deeper bout with your shit. You're going to get a little, you know what I mean? And that is offensive to motherfuckers who liked the POV that they were watching you from. Watch that. There are people who only, I've, I've spoken about this before, there are people around that only fuck with you and only tolerate you because they can look down at you. As long as they can look down at you, they don't take none of that shit you do personally and nothing like that. But as soon as you get eye to eye to them, they ready to slap you about anything. Once you get above them, your existence is disrespectful to them. This is a trap. You're not going to be successful and be around unsuccessful people. It's not going to happen. Everybody that you bump into is going to be expecting something just because they bumped into you. And when you, they come out, man, hey, man, you can shoot me something, man, I'm fucked up. Oh, I ain't got nothing like that. This bitch ass nigga, fuck nigga, what the fuck you mean, nigga? I ain't bad no nigga, nigga, what the fuck you saying, nigga? Fuck this nigga down, bad you, nigga. And you, you moving like a, a regular nigga, so you not, you don't have eight, twelve niggas with you. You definitely don't have no fucking security. Because you a real street nigga. You won't be nigga to know. And this, uh, Mo3 said this in the interview. Like, yeah, man, when I was coming up, dog, I'd go to nigga mama house and eat and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, just go places and shit. And you can do that. 
as an underground artist. But once you get to where Mo3 is now, you may be able to do that in different cities even. Maybe when you go out of town, you may be able to do that. But it's a dangerous thing. When you go to eat at his mama house, you better have, you better be expecting to pay everybody around. That's how you clone people and shit. You know what I'm saying? But even with that person, next time you come to the city and you don't hit them off, oh, that nigga acting funny, ain't it? When you locked up, they'll tell you, don't, I don't open those, so I ain't got to close them. If you start playing with a nigga, joking with a nigga while you locked up and shit, it might be a situation where he joking on a day that you don't feel like joking. And he take that joking shit to another level. And you got to say, hey, man, I don't want to do that no more. Now, he get offended and shit like that. Like, and, and it's just like that in jail. Like, it's all good. You and a nigga all good while y'all locked up until they get close to the time when you supposed to get out. Now, all of a sudden, this nigga got all kind of huff and puff in his chest. Hey, man, shit ain't, ain't all about that, dog. I don't know what the fuck, no. I don't, hey, dog, I don't play like that, dog. Like, I mean, we've been rocking. We've we been working out. Like, fuck. You back away from shit. Like, but I'm, that's that's just what this shit is. So, I laugh whenever I hear niggas with this real street nigga shit. I ain't never gonna change shit. And it's like, well, you don't plan on living long. It's just what it is. And we're the only people that don't understand this. Um, I believe it should be more about how many people can you get out of this fucked up situation, not about coming back to it, or how many times you can come back to this fucked up situation. How many people can you get out of this situation? Fuck if you ever come back, nigga. How many people can you get out? You can, and you can feel how you want to feel, but at this point, we've seen enough examples before Nipsey died. We've seen enough examples of motherfuckers dying at home to where we know, hey, now, success and un because with that unsuccessful shit and that and that um, depression, um, that failure in the air, it leads to shit, it, and it, and it, it um, it's a breeding ground for not just negative vibes. That's cute to say negative vibes and shit like that. It's a breeding ground for fucking demons. And you mix dope with demons and you get death. Dope and demons gets you death. You get a nigga that's high, start thinking of negative thoughts. Now it's time for somebody to die. Um... Another thing that I would like for us to stop doing is uh, stop um, feeling like rappers, once they become successful, they've reached sainthood. It's the same thing we do to people when they die. Motherfucker could have raped children, all kind of shit, but when a motherfucker die, don't talk bad about the dead. The eulogy going like the, the, the eulogist is gonna say something good and shit like that. Um, all good, oh yeah, he was a good motherfuckers knowing that this is a fucked up individual that's going in the ground, glad that he's dead. But we say like stop playing like that. And it's the same thing with this rap shit. Have you heard what these rappers are saying? How in the fuck are we uh not only surprised, but we mad that they got shot at when all through their fucking everything they let you know. Right now and back then, I fucked over people. I got bodies. Shut up! I got bodies. I down niggas. And I'm talking about it. The baby. Very good example. Um, the baby, once again, he just, uh, and he's, he's had a lot of fucking success. And with that, it makes it seem like in order to succeed, you have to have a fucking sacrifice. Whether it be somebody you fuck with or not. And how do we know this ain't a nigga he fuck with that he killed in Walmart? But I'm saying, that blood sacrifice, you just look at anybody's fucking life, like this, that blood fucking sacrifice take them to the next level. 
whether it be um um what metaphoric or not, it's like this is what the fuck it is. Whether you actually need a, a nigga to die for you to come up, or you know, um <clears throat> metaphorically, the fans want to see if you really have the heart to down somebody before they accept you and give you all their money. Whatever the fuck it is, that's what the fuck it looked like. Um, but with him, he let it be known. I down me a nigga. I down me a nigga. Down me. Down, down. Kill, kill, death, death. So then when somebody from Charlotte, preferably the people, um, the family of the person he killed, they come and shoot him up. Oh, man, it fucked up, man. It goddamn, man. This shit, we got to stop the violence, man. Damn, dog, It fucked up out here, man. Nigga can't even go in his own city, man. Like, you have no idea, and you don't give a fuck. You really don't give a fuck. Because if you gave a fuck who an artist was before they got on, then you wouldn't support a lot of these niggas. You wouldn't support a lot of these niggas. Because these niggas are not who they say they are. You just want that shit to sound good. Sound, it sounds like it can be believable. And then nigga get a couple of niggas in the background. And then nigga put the goddamn Drake on it. And they, have, they got the recipe. You got to put a gun in the camera. You got to put money on the camera. You got to put dope on the camera. Got to go on your IG. Talk crazy with the guns, with the dope. And just show that you don't give a fuck. Show people that you're ready to go to jail right now. Just so they can see it. That's you proving. Man, y'all look at me, man. I'm ready to die too. I'm ready to go to jail. That's and that's that's what the rap trap that's that's what the fans and the CIA agents that are um the CEOs of these record labels, that's what they've turned the climate to in the rap game now, to where it is a rap trap. Uh in order to be a rapper, you have to be prepared and ready and willing and pretty much egging death and incarceration on. If you not tiptoeing on that line of death and incarceration, man, that nigga ain't talking about shit. Don't give a fuck what he's talking about. Cause you can be trash as fuck. Ask this nigga Haiti baby, NLE Chopper, the fuck nigga uh, YBN Almighty J. I wanna ask Jay Prince, why the fuck would you get behind some shit like that? The nigga trash as fuck. I, and, and, and I, and a nigga shouldn't have to say no disrespect, my nigga. The nigga trash as fuck. If his business is business, all good. But I, you know, maybe maybe sometimes we hold motherfuckers to to unreal integrity level. We hold the uh, uh, unreal um, standards and shit like that. I just really thought that you know, rap a lot would be about more than just uh, he got he got the image and he can rake in a lot of money. But has no fucking, he's not what he say he is. He's a fucking liar. He can't rap. And he's fucking, you know what I'm saying? Nothing against, you know how the fuck it is. But goddamn, like nigga, if you fucking homosexual, say you homosexual. Nigga don't give a fuck about the homosexual race. And shit like that. Like they do their thing, we do our thing over here. It's all love. But nigga, go on here and say it. This nigga on the fucking, the Snapchat filter just letting it be, hey man. I like this. You know what I'm saying? This is what I like to do. I don't get with the filter. That's one thing. But this now, y'all want to hear on this YBN video I put out. But the filter is one thing. But for you to have the hand motions, the tongue motions, and to know all the words to that whole song. Come on, dog. But in order to get in this rap shit, all you have to do is have them guns, have that money, have that dope, and we're going to accept it. When I say we, I mean us as a culture. Of course, we don't fuck with that shit. But that's another video I'm making about how the streets, when the streets lost control of the rap industry. The streets used to run the rap industry. If that nigga didn't write this shit, he's out of here. If that nigga did something to disrespect the street code, he's out of here. Now... The rap industry is ran by 13-year-old white girls because they're the ones who are paying. When it, when it was CDs, we were buying that shit. We were buying the CDs. But when that shit, when it got to a point where we can get the CDs from the bootleg man, we lost control. We lost control because we were not, we were no longer putting our money in that shit. 
And that's why Takashi can break the street code and still be successful in a rap game. Because the streets and the rap shit is no longer connected. But like I said, uh, we don't know what the fuck YFN Lucha did uh, to anybody in the streets. Um, I'm hearing um, niggas talk about uh, what kind of whole ass niggas would shoot where his kids at. And it's like, dog, I, don't, I just don't understand this shit, man. I don't understand this shit. I don't understand how niggas listen to certain niggas. And it's just like, what the fuck are you talking about, nigga? Where the fuck are you from? The killers ain't the nice guys. The gangsters aren't the nice guys. And, and, and motherfuckers fuck up the, the word. They, they mix the word gangster and cool so much. They think that they're synonymous. There, there is some gangster shit that we find cool, but gangster shit is gangster shit. You can't say, nigga, you want to be gangster, nigga? Take care of your kids, you gangster, nigga. nigga. Take care of your family, that's gangster. No, that's being a man. They got to do that video. Like, you know what I'm saying? A man, being a man versus being a gangster. Being gangster means I'm killing, stealing, doing everything that's unlawful. Being a man means I'm doing everything that a man should do. The confusion comes in with we think gangster shit is cool. So when you say you want to be gangster, you're saying you want to be cool, do this. What we need to do is say we need to get it in motherfuckers mind that what's cool is doing the right thing. But until we do that, nigga, but stop saying gangster shit is nigga. No, gangster shit is gangster shit, period. It has to do with games, gangster shit. You understand, but you know, as far as nigga, ah, uh, wait till the kids leave, dog. In real fucking life, a gangster, real like I don't give a fuck who's outside, nigga. If you out there, it's going down right then. Like you don't hear this nigga talk. I don't give a fuck. You with his grandma, his daughter, his mama, nigga's going down. And then you get surprised when niggas actually live that, man. Come on, man. What the fuck, man? Real gays ain't gonna do that. What the fuck? Are you with this shit or not? If you with this shit, dog, this nigga did something to me that I just can't wait to bump into him. I don't give a fuck who's out there. I'm not trying to hit them. I'm trying to hit this nigga. And if my rage... You know, make me hit somebody else, then that's fucked up, but I'm not trying to hit them. I'm trying to hit this bitch ass nigga and whoever with him. In real life. Y'all niggas just like, you swear to God that you want a real, a gangster that's authentic, a rapper that's authentic in what he say. But then when a nigga do some shit that he said, man, this bullshit, man. Y'all motherfuckers out here, we gotta stop the violence, man. What's going on? What? Do you listen to, like, dog, do you listen to gospel music? Do you listen to inspirational music? Or do you listen to this gangster shit, man? That, that, that's all I'm saying. Let, let's just stop. Let's stop. Let's just stop blurring the lines. We like this gangster shit. So let this gangster shit rock. What's gangster, nigga? I went down that bitch, and, and you know it's gangster because nigga rap. Well, I got a nigga that's stupid. He'll kill anything outside. Tie your kids up, cut their throat. Niggas brag about having them kind of niggas on their side. But then when a nigga actually do that shit, you gonna call the nigga who helped hide this nigga a bitch. Why, how the fuck you gonna hide a child killer, man? How the fuck you gonna kill it? How, how the fuck you gonna try to, how you gonna help a child killer, man? That's what's wrong with us. No, dog. What's wrong with us is we even allow these things to be said and we cheer it on. We cheer this shit on. The, 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 like, the more gangster, the better. So you got to choose a side, pure point blank. You either with this shit or you ain't with this shit. And if you ain't with this shit, then you should be disgusted anytime you hear anything about this shit. This ain't no fairy tale because you want these niggas to be really what the fuck they say they are. And if you believe these niggas, these niggas, let it be known. I didn't lay shit down. And any beef that's made in blood never ends. It can't end. 
if I'm really about this life and you made my people bleed, it can't end until I made yours bleed. If you really about that shit, you can't stop. And that's how I keep going. And if we don't like this cycle, then we have to stop cheering it on, applauding it. Yeah, that's some gangster shit. Even through music. But see, this is not this is not what they want to be heard. Well, they don't, this message isn't something because this message can fuck up everything. This this message can destroy their whole system. This whole music business, because the music business, the golf course, the music business, the CIA agents that run the music business are getting paid by law enforcement, uh, big pharma, um, everybody in law enforcement, like the, like the, the, the chief of police, the judges, the lawyers, because everybody gets paid off this shit. Like I told y'all about um, in the movie American Gangster, when Richard said, I don't think these people want the drug shit to stop. It employs too many fucking people. Pro, uh, fucking probation officers, judges, lawyers, defense. Like, everybody's getting paid off of us dying. Private prisons. You have no idea how many people are paying the music industry to continue to distort and fuck over the mind of our warrior class. Because the warrior class is is those uh, 13 to, you know, 45. Um, and they want to get them young because the younger, the more impressionable the mind is. Just jam this violence shit into that motherfucking mind where we could we could put violence into the mind of our warrior class at 13 and 14 years old, but it would be um, defensive or offensive violence, but not amongst ourselves. War tactics, war strategies to defeat our enemies. What they're teaching us is we are, are our enemies. When we're not our enemies, we are all we have. But that, that's just retarded talk. Um, this has been a rap trap. Um, you either like this rap shit or you don't. Take your pick. If you like this rap shit, like I like the rap shit, you know what I'm saying? And, and so when I see shit like this, I'm not appalled by it. Because until the mindset of the impressionable um, changes, then this shit is going to go on. I can listen to the music and... and Say, oh, the beat sounds good and shit like that. I don't live by it. You niggas live by this shit. You believe in this shit. You don't give a fuck about lyrics. I can listen to a rapper just give good lyrics and metaphors and fuck with it. You'll listen to a trash-ass rapper because you believe that he's a fucking gangster. But then when some gangster shit happened to him, oh, what the fuck, man? Makes no fucking sense. And then you, you niggas who blog, you just make me so fucking mad because you don't know what the fuck you talking about, but it's like you're perpetuating this shit with have, and having no understanding of what the fuck is going on. It's sickening. But it is what it is. Make sure you hit that PayPal. Um, make sure you go to Patreon um, and become a Patreon and shit like that. Um, I'm going to have shit on Patreon that's not on YouTube. So all the patrons will get uh, videos that normal people won't get and shit like that. So to go to the Patreon. We're going to move a lot of shit over there. And also we go live on the Big Facts Podcast YouTube channel every Monday night at 730 Central Standard Time. Get your shit together. Let go.